people. Here I am. Been a little uh, lost, not around. Um, you know, the weekend kicked my ass and getting back into the swing of things. Again, because I was out of work, you know, um, for medical reasons. Um, I had to wash my hair today. We don't talk around hair, we don't talk about hair around here anyway. So, um, I washed my hair. I like to let my hair air dry. Uh, I don't like to do too much to it as far as like, uh, you know, blow drying it and heating it and all that stuff. So, um, I just kind of part it, throw it back in a bun and, um, call it a day. By the time I get to work, it'll have like a bunch of curls. So then I'll just, you know, full it, like, you know, finger the, the waves and, um, you know, it'll, it'll look pretty somewhat presentable. I already threw my eyebrows on. I want it to kind of like not to take too long because it is, I have to leave here in about 45 minutes, a little, a little bit longer, um, provided there be no mishaps on my face. So we're going to just jump right into it. Um, I am going to talk about as much as that I know catching up um, on particular sites. Um, I recently uh, found, I know about Kaya, obviously. I've known about her. Um, I'm going to work and talk. So I've known about her. I, you know, I woke up to a very nice message from her and she subscribed to my channel. So thank you. Welcome. I woke up to, um, you know, a couple of videos that were, um, uh, other reaction channels did that I was never, I never knew about. Um, you know, I'm, I joined YouTube a long time ago, but I never watched it until recently. Um, and I started watching for Bailey Sarian. Um, so how I got to all of you lovely people is, um, I'll list all the stuff in the description box. Everybody knows, um, you know, but this is great. A great dupe for the milk. If you're a beauty on the budget and believe me, I'm on a budget, but, um, elf is better than, uh, not better, but it's just like it. So anyway. I started watching YouTube for Bailey Sarian, um, you know, makeup murder mysteries, Mondays. And then, um, you know, she got to be, which I'm sure once you get to be that big, you know, that big a creator, you know, shit starts happening. And I mean, you know, good for her. Look at all the opportunities being presented to her. But you know, she wasn't uploading consistently. And so in my algorithm, um, I got Stephanie. So her and her, um, fiance did mukbangs, but they talked about, you know, murder mysteries and true crime and that sort of thing. And, um, that threw up Nick Akato. So, you know, of course, they throw up Amberlynn, and I just don't have time for her. I, I, I really don't. I mean, I know what's going on, only because, you know, um, people talk about her, you know, especially in the foodie beauty uh, community, but I don't watch her. She, she, I, 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 no, no. I've seen, you know, reaction channels talk about her and stuff like that, like, Alex is shook and, and, uh, that sort of thing. But no, uh, uh, nope, can't deal with her. I got to deal with just one thing at a time. So anyway, that's how I kind of stumbled into you guys. You know, I started with makeup and, uh, wound up at a train wreck. <sighs> I guess that's life though, right? I mean, you never know where it's going to take it. So anyway, but before I get, um, into all of that, not only did I, um, you know, come across when I searched for, uh, Bailey 
because I saw something on uh, Facebook, which I don't do much of. But when I saw her on Facebook, you know, I, I looked her up on YouTube because I knew that's where she posts her channels. I also got in my algorithm, um, Brittany Vaughn. She's my absolute number one. I'm sorry, Bailey. Um, Brittany. <laughs> Brittany Vaughn. So please check her out if you're into true crime and makeup. The girl's got skills. I mean, not only does she have makeup skills, but to tell a story, oh, she is freaking hilarious. I fucking love that girl. So anyway, um, you know, that's, she uploads usually like Tuesdays and Thursdays, but she's kind of, um, you know, she, she's, she's taken a break and she's explained why and stuff like that. I mean, I'm not going to go into her, her, um, you know, her issues. Take a, take a while, like watch her videos. I, she's, oh, I just love her. I, I mean, she literally, once I started watching her, I didn't miss Bailey not uploading anymore because, um, I think, you know, it's, it's, I do love Bailey. Don't get me wrong. But I do think that once you start um, getting to be that big of a creator, sometimes you lose, you know, why you became that viral. And I feel, unfortunately, like sometimes Bailey kind of has that attitude. And, you know, I mean, it's sad. But, hey, look, I mean, if I woke up one night and I had 8 million subscribers, I, I, I probably wouldn't, uh, you know, I wouldn't know how to handle it either. So... Um, you know, I'm not judging. I'm just saying. We don't judge around here. So, anyway, um, yeah, look up Brittany Vaughn. She does, uh, true crime and, uh, makeup. And she's got the cutest dogs, too. Oh, jeez, oh, man. She's just hilarious. So, anyway, um, yeah, I, I kind of just, you know, I did my, my last video was the meal prep and um you know I was trying to catch up on like Sunday I actually caught Kaya live because I know she does it really late and I, I'm just I, I'm not up that late um well sometimes I am so if I catch her you know I'll jump in of course um but I caught her you know her little studio place that she she got and um you know, I jumped in, I was, I was chatting with everyone and, uh, I didn't realize how many people, um, were in there that I've seen, you know, obviously in, in beauty's community. Oh, I don't even know what to, she is. She should not be called beauty. Anyway, oh, can be nice today. Be nice. Um, And then not only did I realize that, you know, they were there, I didn't realize that they also had channels. So I'm trying to, you know, support everyone, not because I have a channel, but because uh, I think we're all in the same, like, we're in the same, like, you know, I, I, I can't deal with this drawer right now. I'm, I'm going to pull a disgusting act, which is not disgusting. I'm just going to put my stuff over here. Um, I'll put it away when I come home because we got to talk and we got to work and we got to get, uh, we got to get, we act, there, there's some of us that actually, you know, have to punch a clock. Um, and I'm talking to, you know, the big beezer. So anyway, I just, um, wanted to, you know, support those other channels. They're, you know, smaller than obviously, um, beauty and, and all of that. So, I've been trying to just hop on, watch a couple of chat, you know, a couple of videos, and then, um, of course, you know, do some interaction for them and all that. So, um, yeah, I, I just, and, um, you know, I keep mentioning her, she's going to think I'm stalking, but Christina, the Latina, she is like, she's just such a sweet girl. I, I seriously, I mean, like she, you know, she talks about my channel and she, you know, shares it with, with her socials. And, you know, I've seen a lot of people, I'm really close to a hundred 
And like I said, I don't know if you saw the other video. I think it was in, you know, coming in annoyed video. Um, you know, when I, when I do reach a hundred, I want to get one of those random apps, um, and just pick someone, you know, to send like, I don't know, I'll Venmo you like money for Starbucks or whatever the hell you use it for. I want to, you know, like I'm not rolling in it. So I thought like maybe 20 bucks or something like that. Um, you know, because you guys are supporting me and you're here and you know, I'm not a jerk. Like anyway, we're going to keep moving here. So yeah, I really do appreciate Christina for, um, you know, get my name out there. I mean, I, Kaya would have, I don't think would have seen my thing because I know Christina is you know a big supporter of her and I'm truly grateful for that so um that's what I've been doing and um today's my later day so I'll be able to probably jump in uh I won't be able to talk but I'll jump in Danny damn it Danny's channel um she's an ex-beezer and we all I think Danny was in there. The um, she was a she is a VIB when Night of the Ones happened. You know when the asshole decided. You know she's going to be smug and shit about seeing him, and then we all threw ones in the chat because she was being an asshole. Um, so I don't know exactly. I think Danny was in there. You know, I don't know if she was actually there that night, but I know that that's, you know, she was a VIB then, and uh, she had had her shit. So she decided to do something that the asshole decided, she, you know, she kept saying she was going to do stuff for her members. So Danny took it upon herself to do her own award show, and mad respects for that because. It, <laughs> As soon as she heard Danny was doing the awards, she was like, well, let her do it then. I'm not going to do it. But you never wanted to do it anyway. Who are you friggin' kidding? So anyway, Danny's just a really nice person. Gave me great advice. Told me different things to do um, on how to, um, you know, do certain things on my channel. So I'll hop in and like I said, I'll say hello. I'm driving. I can't talk because, you know, I really won't look at the chat when... Uh, I'm there, but Danny has really supportive people in her, in her, um, community. So yeah. And a lot of us have that commonality, which is, you know, the asshole. So, um, if anybody's keeping watch, we're 13 minutes and I already got my face on. Okay. I don't just sit here and take two hours to do makeup. I want to, but today I can't. Oh. Oh, nauseous. So, um, speaking of nauseous, not because it makes me nauseous, but I went around this merry-go-round yesterday with my, with CVS and my doctor. Um, my doctor's great, but I looked on my app and it said my medication was ready for pickup. I, I go there after work when I was doll gas tired and I just wanted to come home and like, you know, see my whiskers. And I also, because I got my new phone, I knew it was being delivered. I wanted to get home because I knew it would be, you know, I mean, I live in a really safe area, but you know, a new iPhone sitting out there on your, on your stoop. Yeah, no. So anyway, um, I get to CBS and they're like, oh yeah, we're waiting for, conf you know, confirmation on your doctor. I'm like, no, I talked to the doctor. They got it straightened out and the app says that it's ready. No, we don't have that, that dosage. We want to see if they want to up your dosage. And for those of you that don't know, I'm on a weight loss medication. So uh, up that shit so it can go faster. But, um, you know, obviously I can't make that decision. But why, why, why did the app say that? And then I wanted to call them out on it. And I go back in the app and it says processing. I was so freaking man. So now every time I go to CVS, I'm going to take a screenshot. Because I'm tired of their ass. So this medication is called Wagovi. It's very, very, very difficult to get or stock. Um, especially the milligram that I'm on. I think because it's the lowest in their 
you know, it's new, so they're trying everybody out on the small dosage. So, I'm like, I don't think, like, I didn't have any, the first, he said the first couple of weeks you're going to, you're going to be nauseous. Um, or you'll have some belly issues, but it'll all go away. So, um, I did the first, the first time I took it, I had some, you know, my husband had the same thing. My, my husband's on Ozempic though. Um, so I had that and it, it went away just like they said, poof, gone. So, um, you know, I don't want to interrupt my treatment because you have one mill, you know, one milligram and so I just text my doctor today. Anyway, I'm kind of annoyed because I don't want to stop my treatment or, you know, cause delay in treatment because at CVS, you couldn't call me. You couldn't call me and let me know there's an issue and like, you know, maybe reach out to my doctor and see if I can get that moving along faster. Because my doctor's great. They'll text, you know, they'll get my message and they'll contact me uh, within a couple of hours. So... Don't mess with me, man. Me and my doc got it going on. He's not. He changed hospitals. He used to be a Jefferson doctor. And now he's a Cooper doctor. And, um, you know, he's a lot of his patients are coming over. But, you know, before he was established, um, when he was established in Jefferson, uh, it was he was booked. I mean, he was book book. So I would see him once a year and then just go to, you know, like, uh, the nurse practitioner. But, um, now, you know, I can kind of get a hold of him and he'll, he'll respond sometimes to my emails, but more often than not, it's like, you know, a medical assistant and stuff. So, um, anyway, that's the, I'm trying to get my friggin' med. So, I take my injection on Saturdays. I don't want to interrupt the... I don't want to interrupt it. Because I know that I definitely lost the 9 pounds. Um, and I haven't checked since. So, I'm not trying to look at numbers. Because once you start looking at the numbers, then you just, you know, you, uh, you start getting discouraged. So, I just need to get this weight, some of it off. Even if it's just like 20 pounds, I need to get it off because I just, I'm having too many breathing issues with this blood problem I got now. Um, so anyway, uh, babbling as usual. Well, like a ping pong ball, like I usually do. Um, so I did try to catch up as much as possible. This morning, you know, I did see that she, like, deleted two things. Because why not, you know? I mean, dirty delete. If you're going to say something, say it, keep it up. What, what, what do you, you know? Like, I just don't get that. I don't know. I hope I never get like that. Because, like Erica told her, I said what I said. I ain't got no problem doing that. But, you know, we woke up this morning that, like, we're not going to bees anymore. Yeah, okay. Your whole friggin' life is bees. And you can't, you're asking for money for electric, but you don't want to bees because you got your feelings hurt because someone called you. Someone actually held her accountable in real life, kind of. Like, you go on that panel, because I saw clips. You go in that panel, and, like, she held you accountable for your lies. And it hurts your feelings. It hurt your feelings. You can't, you cannot deal with real life. You are a grown, you are a huge, huge, almost 400 pound two year old. That's what you are. And you said that you subscribe to my channel. So if you don't want to hear the truth, you might want to unsubscribe because I ain't going to miss your subscription because you know, you're, you're not a nice person. You're not a good person. You're not a nice person. You're not, you, you are just ugly in the inside. And I said what I said. Um, you know, I've been, she's been calling my name out. And that's one of the things I wanted to say. Like, you know, when I was watching Kaya's live, she, she's like, you know, don't you find it funny that, you know, now all of a sudden she's saying this. And I, listen, 
People say stuff all the time. I am here to do makeup, get ready with me, talk smack on her, show you some recipes. Once we start, this new uh, phone I got um, has like a great camera and all these bells and whistles on it. And I didn't get it because of that. It was just like, because, you know, this phone, when I unplug and it like automatically dies. So I was due for a new one. Um, so I, you know, obviously I can't, I'm not going to keep the same generation. I'll go up. So I got 13 and it's got a better camera. And I just, just saw that I am actually able to go live. So that means we're going to be, you know, stepping outside of the bedroom in the kitchen and doing stuff. Um, and I'm really looking forward to that. So um, I just noticed, you know, when, uh, baby Beezer started doing these, like, you know, oh, look at this. This is, you know, I use this serum for this and, you know, that and everything like that. I mentioned a couple of videos ago to, um, tell her to stop giving makeup advice because she's just, just stop, just stop. Uh, what was I, oh, I saw the deleted video of her coming home. She was completely, she was on drugs when she was getting ready, um, for OnlyFans. And when her sequins shirt, I mean, it used to be a dress, it's now shirt. She was high. And then she was going to go downstairs and marry obese because, you know, that's what grown adults do. Look, I'm not, I'm not, I, I, I get video games. I get it. I get it. And if I had um, a station, like a PlayStation or whatever, and I could do Resident Evil, I would probably kick it with everybody. But um, what I'm saying is that, that she makes that her priority. Most adults make it their priority as a hobby because we're too busy doing, you know, life, work, earning an honest dollar, and not begging people for money. So, um, yeah. That's what I mean by that. I don't, I get the whole video game thing, but you know, her, no, do something. Do, do, like you, you just put on makeup, you're sitting there begging people for money, but you're, you're playing music and you're going to have demonetized videos. The other day you were manic in the car. After you saw the motorcycle guy, you were as high as a kite in the car. And don't tell me that you weren't. Um, cause normal people don't have that behavior. I go with manic spurts, but I don't act like that. Yeah. I'll put my fifth cent on and, um, you know, turn it way up cause I love that song, but I don't, I don't act the way you do. And I don't continually act like that for, you know, and I damn sure don't drive that far to get something that I've been eating every single day. And that's also a fucking lie. There ain't no way in hell Uber Eats is delivering that meal that far away. There's a, there's a diner down the street that we love. And literally, it's not that far. They won't even deliver to me. So don't tell me Uber Eats is doing that. And if they are Canada, what are you doing? Support the local guy, please. That was, that was just ridiculous. So you acted like that after you saw Motorcycle Man. And then you go on and you're like acting like a fool. And then you're like, oh, I'm going to, in the middle of the night, go out to the bowling alley parking lot again and meet someone, you know, and oh, he's such a good kisser. I'm going to meet him every day. And every day I see him, I got a man. I'm going to forget Natter and, you know, keep it up. I'm not putting up with this stuff. He lives with someone else. And what happened last night? She loves him again. So, my question to you, good people, pretty people, you know, it's not, yesterday was the holiday for them, so they didn't have banking. Today, money drops in her account, and he's all of a sudden telling her he loves her. Because, do you want that studio, or do you just want her money? Uh, he's playing her for a fool, but she won't listen to anybody. But by all means, please. Continue to ruin your life and blame others for it because that's, that's a good time. 
that is a good time. So getting back to this whole makeup thing and her saying that she subscribed to my channel. Now, who am I? No one. But I do seem to get a lot of her attention because she doesn't like the shit I say sometimes, which I don't give a fuck. Uh, you know, I mean, what would be a video if Kim didn't drop something, right? This time, Chantal, I dropped the tail that I keep on my lap and I wipe my fingers so that I don't wipe it, you know, on my clothes because I'm in more clothes. I have to hurry this nonsense up so that I can go to work and um, actually take care of people. <sighs> you know, I have a job. But even if I'm in my filthy, dirty, cleaning clothes, I'm still going to have a, a thing on my lap so that I can wipe my hands on my tail and throw it in the washer when it calls for it. And I said what I said. So, I'm sitting there thinking, like, that's, like, really strange. And there's some things that I say that I noticed she's never said before, and she's saying. So, I don't know. Are you really subscribed? Are you watching? Uh, you know, uh, I can give you cleaning tips, too. Like, you know, drop a comment below and ask me. I still don't even... I still didn't dust my room. I gotta dust my room. I'm the worst with dusting. But anyway. So, um, when I was watching Kaya in her, you know, her video where she, her live where she was showing everybody her new space and everything like that. Congratulations again. Um, it's always nice to have something, you know, I feel, I don't want to be it. I want it. I want my own glam room. I've always wanted my own glam room. I'm not a mom. I don't have kids. I don't, you know, have to worry about college tuition and shit. I just always wanted my own dressing room. And we're working on that because we're going to be selling the house soon. So, um, you know, whatever. But right now, this is good. So, her having her own space, I know she's, like, elated about it. And, you know, people were... Um, you know, her, I obviously have not, you know, witnessed her community before uh, Sunday. So they seem to be extremely happy for her. Um, you know, because normal people applaud other people, especially other, you know. I mean, I I couldn't, I, I don't understand not applauding someone else's success. So Kaya said that, like, you know, she's like, it's funny how, like, I've been talking about this for a couple of weeks. And now all of a sudden, you know, she's getting a studio apartment in Montreal. So, um, Kai, if you happen to catch this one, I totally believe she's, she's, she saw your, your, your mentioning that. And yeah, she's running with your idea. 1000% believe it. Um, because, like I said, I saw there was a couple of similarities to what I'm doing over here with the makeup. Only my shit's clean. Again, you know, I said it. Because I went to work yesterday in mascara and that navy blue eyeliner. And that was it. Like... I have just had, I have not had um, a comfortable couple of weeks as far as my health is concerned. Um, I'm trying just like, I, I'm trying really hard not to complain about it because I do, I do complain to my husband about it all the time and my husband worries for me. It, like he, he puts me before himself because that's love. And that's, you know, I'm so lucky to have it. But he does worry about me too much. And I, 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 I've been listening to myself and I'm like, my God, all you do is complain. But it is because it's scary. Like the shortness of breath. And then when I had the chest pains last week, you know, I wasn't going to ignore that. So... I try not to complain too much, but I have been very, very fatigued 
and, um, you know, it's hard for me sometimes to sleep at night. And when I do sleep, I get broken sleep. So I woke up yesterday, like I got my ass kicked and I'm like, if I could just throw on some lashes and an eyeliner, I'm going to work. Uh, I mean, I, 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 I couldn't, I, I just, I, I couldn't, um, I couldn't be getting down with the whole, now they're going to come in. They're going to be like, what the hell's wrong with you, Kim? You got all this makeup on. Well, you know, I have a little extra time. Oh, and I did a video too. But this is, uh, I mean, I'm doing it. So I was like, let me just throw the camera on, you know. Um, I knew it was going to be kind of quick. So when I'm working in a palette, I'm doing the Natasha uh, Glam palette. When I'm working in a palette that I'm really comfortable with and really familiar with, like, it does not take me long. Like, when I'm sitting here on the weekend shitting the, you know, shooting the shit and having her on in the background, then it's going to take me longer. But, um, I just want you guys to see, like, it doesn't really take that long to come up with this stuff. Um, yes, I'm putting my finger in my eyeshadow because with uh, her shimmers, I find it's better to do with your finger, um, as opposed to a brush. You know, you got fat fingers like me. You got to kind of go and clean the edges. But I do find more payoff with, um, I find there to be more payoff with my, my fingers rather than a brush. <sighs> I'm going to hit pan on this color too. It's, it's sad. I mean, it's not discontinued, so it's not sad. What's sad is uh, I have to put that money out again. I know. Because it's that good. Oh, Natasha, can you do like a loyalty program? You know, like a postcard program where like, you know, frequent flyers get maybe an autograph palette. myself so where was I what was I talking about before I went I like a ping pong ball again um the comparisons yes I do I do see that I, I I've thought about it and then when Kaya mentioned it I was like son of a gun you know I'm not crazy I am not crazy like Again, Chantal, if you're watching, clean your brushes. I saw that uh, you were, you know, so giddy in the car after seeing this motorcycle guy again. And he's he's your new man. And dee 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 dee. You come home and you actually washed your face. Like you actually took wipes to your eyeballs. Um, again, I dropped my cloth. But, girl, when you took that makeup wipe or whatever that was to your face, it sounded like sandpaper. I cannot stress enough. Tone Serum Moisturizer. You might actually need to go to a professional um, and get a facial, you know, for the first time, then just keep up on it. And that's just my, my recommendation. You know, I like to recommend some stuff around here. And uh, I think you're beyond, I think you're beyond a Neutrogena at this point, babes. Really do. Really think you're beyond a traditional makeup life. You don't take better care of your health and you know your budget that that uh that's there's no such thing so um you know by all means splurge on a facial a fate what's crazy is a facial around here is probably the same amount is one of her wheelchairs that she buys every day that's disgusting that is absolutely disgusting that you choose that life over a clean, hygienic one. Disgusting. So. 
sad, and disgusting. And it's disgusting because you don't even clean. Here's a tip too. Um, since you're going to be Euro bees and then traveling and all that stuff, if you if you forget to buy like you know brush cleaner, or they have soaps at Alta and Sephora and all that stuff. Um, <clears throat> the beauty blender is great. The soap is great. Um, it's very expensive, so <clears throat> I'm not going to rebuy that. Um, I have some shampoos. I have you know soaps and all that. $10 at Alta, you get like a little container of brush soap. But what I'm trying to get to with this Euro beezing is that you're going to be staying in hotels a lot, right? Um, for anybody that goes to a hotel, everybody gets their, you know, they get like those little, little bars of soap. And most people take, take their own, you know, their own soap for their body. Take, take the hotel soap. You can use that as a, as a makeup brush cleaner. Especially if it's a Neutrogena one, it, it's fantastic. I also got a mini, and when I say mini, I mean it's like this big Cinema Secrets. It's a blue liquid. Um, holy shit. I just used it for the first time to wipe my eyebrow stuff on my, um, to like, because I couldn't get it off with the soap. Uh, holy shit. That stuff is magical. It is expensive, but it is magical. So I might go buy the, um, I mean, it just, I just stuck it in and everything came out of the brush. I didn't have to swoot. I didn't have to do anything. That was, I just couldn't believe it. I, it was absolutely incredible. And I think it's like 40 bucks. I saw it for 30 so I, I might have saw it on a site that, you know, is trying to rip me off. But it, it's sold everywhere. I think Amazon has it for like 30 bucks. So, it's called Cinema Secrets. It's a blue, blue liquid. It comes in like, the 30 bucks is like a big one. And it's like for professional makeup artists use it, you know, because they clean their brushes really fast in between clients. And it, the dry down time is, is pretty quick. So there's Chantel. There's another uh, tip from me to you. Um, stop stealing everybody's ideas. Especially the... the. I mean, obviously Kai is large channel. You know, she's huge compared to mine. Ain't no reason to steal everybody's ideas. Uh, especially since you, uh, you know, we're going to do this, we're going to do that, and you never fucking do a thing. Not one damn thing. My cat's running around somewhere. Guys, I got my, uh, 38 minutes. Told you. So, yes, I think she is definitely watching us, and, um, you know... Seeing what people say in the comment section and then uh, taking it back to hers and, you know, she's going to say, well, if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't have anything. You know what, Chantel? You know what we wouldn't have? We wouldn't have a Discord community or other channels to go to that have like-minded opinions. And we're all kind of the majority that you are... Um, well, you're just a mess. We all have the same opinion on that or everybody. If there, everybody has the same opinion, but only one person doesn't. What? Do you, Bill? Do you? You know, like I told the weasel. This kind of behavior is going to keep you in this position. My comment said, nothing changes if nothing changes. I know, Coco, I'm sorry, I'm yelling. I know, pretty girl. My ding dong. 
What are you yelling at me for? Because you don't have the TV to go sit on and turn off? You got, you got jokes, girl. You got jokes. My black and white cat always sits on the, on the TV. And in a couple of videos, you caught it. A couple of videos, she turned the TV off on me. Always wanting me to, uh, she's crazy. So, you don't change your behavior, uh, mama. You are going to stay in this. And if you don't open your eyes up to the fact that he's, he's love bombing you when it comes to payday, you're an idiot. Because his chat, I mean, when he goes live, he has like maybe a hundred people watching him. And they ain't there before for the food. Trust me. They ain't there for the food. They're there to see if he says something about you. And he's not talking about you. He's not talking about you. I never know where to look on my camera. I don't think this motorcycle guy was like a hookup. I, mean, I think he's a hookup, but just not in the way that, you know, she's saying it. Tell me I'm wrong. Behaviors a after meetups. And yesterday's foul fucking mood. I mean, foul mood. It's another telltale, a telltale sign that, bitch, you're coming down for something. You are coming down from something. And it ain't a makeout session. Okay? Okay? I told y'all I've been around in these streets. I grew up in these streets. I got, you know, we all have, we all have people in our family that, you know, that like to dance with the devil every once in a while. So we all know. And your stupid ass puts everything out on camera. And now all of a sudden you just want your hug backs, but your hug box back. Because it got too hot for you. Someone called you out in real time in front of I mean more people than you're pulling in. Well, no, it was the same amount. But she actually was able to tell you. Dude, like what are you doing? And you cried because someone called you out on your behavior. Damn, I didn't want to wear this one. I'm sorry. I'll put the other one in my pocket. This is the uh, Stunton uh, ColourPop Plumping Gel. I didn't want to wear this one. I wanted to wear my Sephora because it's very light. It's very light and it's got like just a little bit of a little tint. But anyway, uh... As you can see, the video is 43 minutes, and I am running out the door to work. I appreciate everybody's support. I know I was a little chaotic, but I just at last minute decided to do this um, for, you know, for Get Ready With Me before work. I love everyone. Um, again, Chantal, if you're listening, please, by all means, um, pick up on some of my hygienic tips. All the products will be listed in the, um, all the products will be listed in the description box, especially for, uh, skincare because you need it. Um, you, I mean, you need more, more stuff, but let's start there. Okay. Cause you're not going to therapy. Um, it doesn't work for you. It doesn't work for you because you're not honest. Um, and it's hard and you can't handle your life sober. Uh, the first thing that therapist is going to tell you is to quit smoking, quit vaping, quit the wheelchairs. 
Um, and then they're going to tell you to leave him alone because he's not healthy for you either. And we all know that that's not going to happen because again, it's hard work and, um, you're just going to throw a live button on and, uh, call people cheap ass, cheap ass bitches because they're only sending a dollar 99 when they're also paying a monthly service, um, you know, to be able to chat because you're too chicken to put on a live, uh, you know, open it up to everyone. So, you know, there's that, but, uh, continue to hop over to Kaya's lives and reactions and, um, you know, she'll give you, she'll give you great tips on how to like pretty things up and, uh, she's got really great style. So maybe you could pick up a couple of things on her, uh, you know, clothing selections, um, she, I saw a couple of things she bought this year. She actually buys things that fit her and everybody was blown away by the size that she chose for herself. And then she, you know, she was like, I'm telling you guys, it really does. So she, you know, it, it, not in a, an aggressive way, her members aren't aggressive like yours. Um, she put the dress on to show everybody that it actually fit. Um, so take a page out of her book too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anyway, guys, 46 minutes. I am going to work. You have a great day. The weather is no longer offensive out here, although it's going to come back. But um, hopefully no shit pops off by the time I get home. And um, I get that, you know, I might be late because I might go after work now to um, flip and switch my phone so that I have a better one. Take care. Have a great day. Mwah.